Buongiorno, benvenuti alla conferenza stampa di Agente Smart Casino Totale o Casino Total. Eh, diamo il benvenuto ai nostri ospiti che sono dalla vostra sinistra il produttore di Ibrin. Il regista Peter Sigal, Anna Hathaway, Steve Correll, Wayne Johnson, il produttore Charles Rowan. I grew up watching uh, the series, and um, I was uh, fortunate that uh, Warner Brothers came to me and asked me if I would be interested in getting involved and uh, try to um, reimagine it as a motion picture. And um, one of the first things um, that we did, uh, both myself and my producing, uh, we have one more Uh, two other producing partners who are not here, Alex Gartner, who actually works with me at uh, Mosaic, and um, Andrew Lazar, uh, who was actually involved in the project and even preceded uh, myself and Michael. Uh, in any case, uh, when Warner Brothers came to us and dis discussed with Andrew and myself uh, about reimagining uh, Get Smart, one of the very first things that we decided we needed to do was find the right guy to play Maxwell Smart. And uh, we all agreed that uh, the best person for the job was Steve Carell. At, at that time, Steve Carell wasn't really uh, all that well known in the United States. Uh, he had had some really brilliant work that he did in a couple of motion pictures, uh, one called um, uh, Bruce Almighty and one called um, Anchorman. And of course, he had also done work um, on uh, Comedy Central. and. Uh, That, that combination, Steve's joining on also as an executive producer with the material, uh, was what brought Pete Seaton into the mix and his partner, Michael Ewing. And uh, that uh, was the genesis of uh, how the project got started. We, um, uh, when we first heard about Get Smart, we had talked about, um, over the years, possibly becoming involved in it, and for one reason or another had not decided to become involved. And then when Chuck and Alex and Andrew approached us um, about becoming involved with Get Smart, with Steve attached to star in it, we couldn't imagine a more perfect uh, actor to play the part of Maxwell. And so um, we signed on, and, and um, it was a series that we all grew up with and we loved and um, cherished from our childhoods and the memories of it. And so to have the chance to recreate it for the big screen and to possibly you know, do an homage to the original series, but also bringing it to a new generation of people that may not be as familiar with it was really exciting and we uh, jumped at the opportunity. I trust fashion. Um, <laughs> Um, thank you so much for the lovely compliment about The Devil Wears Prada. I understand um, that film was really embraced by Italy, and I can't think of a more con perfect country for, uh, for the movie to have been such a success in. Um, regarding, you know, I, I think as anyone, uh, regarding trust, I think, you know, that's something that you must learn in life, and I'm very happy to be standing up here with a panel of gorgeous men, all of whom I would trust with my life, except Steve. <laughs> okay. And uh, my relationship with uh, f fashion is developing. Um, certainly working on a film like The Devil Wears Prada was such an amazing opportunity. Uh, Patricia Field's um, costume design in that was, I, I think, I think that, that, that was one of the things that set the film apart. And to work with someone who treats fashion like fun, like it's not, um, 
like it's yet another creative outlet, and to work with someone who is so creative, like Patricia Field, was uh, was an amazing opportunity. Uh, my relationship with it, I um, I, be, I I like eccentric glamour. I think that it's it's you know. Being glamorous is very, very fun to try to uh, try to achieve that look, but I think you can be careful. If you veer into too elegant, it can look a little boring, so I try to um, always throw in something unexpected, something very personal, something a little bit eccentric. Um, it begins with the script. Um, I try to find films that tell stories that I either think should be told or, I, or, or that I find entertaining. Um, an important part of the process in terms of choosing the director is uh, making sure that you want to tell the same story the director wants to tell. Um, because as I've learned from unfortunate experience, uh, your ideas and someone else's ideas could begin in the same place and could diverge wildly and, um, and you can wind up with, with a mess of a film. Thankfully that didn't happen with, with Pete. But I just try to find characters that I believe in, um, interesting stories, and and w the way I choose my roles is generally I try to pick the opposite of the last film that I worked on. Um, I would say Alan Arkin is the best kisser. <laughs> and that actually, that has nothing to do with the movie, because we didn't, we didn't kiss in the movie. Um, they are both, I think, fantastic kissers, and uh, I think most of the population of the world are uh, envious of me for having been able to, to kiss both of these delicious and wonderful human beings. Oh, oh, oh wow! Now I Unexpected! Approfitto del microfono per Peter Sigal invece. Volevo sapere se Mel Brooks per caso ha visto il film e se c'era stato un giudizio da parte sua o dei consigli. 